You can't tell me it's too expensive. You can only tell me that it's a stupid idea. You know, I'm allowed to be here until the police come. Ethics just hold me back. You know, like friends who stop me from driving after I drank too much. Two dumb babies. <laughs> I love good NASA slander, man. That's like my favorite. With Willie Simon and Eric Free. <laughs> I would like all of you to know we're not in this together. I like masks better than getting shots. <laughs> I know, right? Why is everyone stoked on getting a shot? They're scared of masks. Masks are fun. What's so un-American about masks? The old West full of masks. Dude, that was the best time in America. I, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when they were robbing each other and killing engines? Those were the days. When hangings were a public spectacle, not just like, not even illegal or not even like a shady thing we did in the back of courthouses. Like <laughs> middle of the town, noon. What are you doing today? Same thing everyone's doing. Watching the hanging. I'm not even convinced there is a cure for COVID anymore. There isn't probably. It's it's going to be a vaccine. That's not a cure. <laughs> you're like praying for a cure and then someone hands you a vaccine. You're like, ah, kind of. Not really what I wanted. <laughs> what is this? Knee pads? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is this? 1930? The only cure for this thing is to never leave your house again. Which is the cure for most things, right? That's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll probably catch like diabetes and gout if you stay inside. That's the only thing you're at risk for. The flu, you're fine. <laughs> you can exercise indoors. Yeah, but if you're always indoors, what's the point? Who are you showing off your fucking hard work to? If I never went outside, I'd never do a push-up. Being anti-vaccine to me is like being anti-band-aid. Anti-vaxxers just need something to blame for their kids being dumb. Like, maybe <laughs> it's genetics. Maybe it's not the vaccine. Maybe you're stupid, and that's why your <laughs> yeah. kid's stupid. Yeah, you're like, I'm an idiot, and now my kid's dumb too? It must be the vaccine they got when they were a child. <laughs> it must be a government conspiracy. <laughs> my lineage is dumb? What? <laughs> I say we go back to when it was just like there's fluoride in the water supply and that's what's making your kid dumb. <laughs> because of anti-vaxxers, we have shit like the measles and polio again. Where do you even get polio? <laughs> are, are you like a grave robber? What are you doing? <laughs> even if you are vaccinated, if you somehow end up around polio, then you deserve it. <laughs> Hanging out with warlords in fucking Sudan or something like that? <laughs> I ate some uh, some bad chicken. Like, no, no, that's pollo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what this is then. <laughs> no, you just had food poisoning. <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> oh, I ate the other day at El Polio Loco. <laughs> that's what I'm calling fucking food poisoning from now on is pollo polio. <laughs> I got the pollo polio. <laughs> <laughs> throw up all day. They haven't even found a vaccine yet, but they're already talking about how much it's going to cost. Good thing they've got the priorities straight. You know, how are we going to make money before we even have anything? A good product always starts with the price point. <laughs> how much do you think the vaccine is going to cost? It's going to cost uh, like $600 a week for the last five months. And like $1,200 one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for a one-time payment. The government's like, we're getting our money back. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting our money back or you're going to die with it. Yeah. <laughs> the government's paying companies millions of dollars to work on the vaccine. So we're already paying for it. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> so my money isn't going to the police? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought my money all went to war. <laughs> I thought I was buying tanks for my local police department. This is bullshit. <laughs> Even if these places don't successfully make a vaccine, though, they still make millions of dollars. <laughs> yeah, they already fucking had the, the contract money. We all should have been working on a vaccine during this. this <laughs> <laughs> Everyone gets into science. If Johnson & Johnson can do it, why not Simon & Friedman? Yeah, their baby powder caused cancer. We've never caused cancer. We have better track record than Johnson & Johnson. <laughs> I've been sued way less times than Johnson & Johnson. <laughs> Like, I trust Dwayne The Rock Johnson to make a vaccine <laughs> over over Johnson & Johnson. I'm pretty sure I can make something that kills one virus, but also gives you something much worse. <laughs> <laughs> Johnson Johnson is going to go and prescribe opioids. <laughs> Here. We know it works. Moderna's the main vaccine company that the government's paying, and they're set to make a billion dollars if they hit their deadlines, and they're still going to charge the public for the vaccine. I think I'm an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> I think I'm on Jenny McCarthy's side, actually. The two main companies working on the vaccine are already saying that you're going to need two doses, even though they don't have a vaccine yet. How do you know we're going to need two? Uh, because it's just heroin. <laughs> you're actually going to need more than two. <laughs> How are they going to charge us for this thing that has the potential to save the country? Is it getting or selling people vaccines the thing that makes you retarded? I don't think selling them makes you retarded. I think it is retarded to sell them. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the deal with Dr. Fauci? Is he the Surgeon General? No, it's a guy named Jerome Adams. Man, that guy must feel like shit. Dr. Fauci's giving a speech like, 
The spread of the virus can be curbed by wearing of masks. By the wearing of masks. I said it first. The Surgeon General said it first. I'm the Surgeon General, not that guy. God damn it. I was elected by my peers. I'm a good doctor. <laughs> Trump found out he was black and was like, uh, do we have any Italians that look like Jews? <laughs> He's like, the only black doctor I've ever heard of is that kid who pretended to be a doctor and Storm from the X-Men. <laughs> like, Dr. Fountain looks like Woody Allen. Nobody who looks like Woody Allen has ever done anything wrong besides Woody Allen. <laughs> yeah, people who look like Woody Allen are usually the ones telling on other people for doing stuff like what Woody <laughs> yeah. Allen does. <laughs> He really turned the tables on looking like Woody Allen. You know? <laughs> Fauci said the chance of the vaccine being effective is not great. Just like the chance of Fauci sticking around if Trump gets a second term. They're saying a 50% effectiveness rate is acceptable. How come when I got 50% in math, I had to do it again? What's the other 50%? I think that's an important question. <laughs> if it's death rate, that's pretty awful. <laughs> yeah, they're like, it's a flip of a coin. <laughs> <laughs> and then they stick you with a needle and you die. <laughs> It never mattered anyway. <laughs> the coin toss was really just to distract you while we stick this F-grade injection in you. You know, we got the disease from China. It makes sense we get the cure from China, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's actually bat blood. We don't learn anything ever. They tried miracle cures, and it ended up just killing people. So we better hope this vaccine's better. Yeah, they tried that hydroxychloroquine. And some people just took chlorine. (laughs) (laughs) People are just drinking pool water like, I'm going to get better. I'm going to be able to go to my kid's graduation. (laughs) They should have advertised it as Yaz hydroxychloroquine. And then the gay community would have loved it. I think it's weird that people are like, we should listen to these doctors that look like bootleg DC villains. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. I trust witch doctors to tell me about like astral projection, not how to live on this realm. (laughs) Are people going to still wear masks after? the vaccine i don't think people were wearing them uh now <laughs> <laughs> yeah after the vaccine they're like i really don't care now what if we just got some way that you could tell if someone got the vaccine like we put a piece of fabric over their mouth <laughs> like a mask yeah but uh we'll call it something else masks have gotten a real bad reputation how did they get a worse reputation like the only reputation masks had before all this was robbery and murder that's all they were useful <laughs> they're like i like them better when they were used to rob 7-eleven it's not yeah. help me <laughs> I think the reason there's all this hype around the vaccine is because America is fucked until we get some sort of extremely simple solution. Yeah, because we tried the regular simple solution, which was masks and not being shitty to other people. Yeah, they were like, fuck it, no way. (laughs) (laughs) We can't do this. This is too hard. Not simple enough. (laughs) We couldn't even make it like a week without partying. People drank alone for four days and were like, all right, my alcoholism is kind of sad without friends. (laughs) It's my right as an American to not feel bad about my life. That's the pursuit of happiness part of the Constitution. People are going to be coughing out their insides as they try and tell us that vaccines are bad for you. There's going to be some people in a bunker after the vaccine comes out like, oh my God, everyone who doesn't get the vaccine dies. It's like some sort of government conspiracy. They're killing us off with some kind of mystery disease. Maybe it's in the water. All right, nobody drink any more water. Oh God, it didn't work. Now they're killing us with some kind of dehydration ray. They can't be stopped. (laughs) If vaccines don't work, then how come countries that don't have the measly accessible are so bad? Look, roads are great, but uh, they can't cure the measles. (laughs) Yeah, you think it's drones that make America good? No, it's the the healthcare. (laughs) Third world countries is usually primarily their medical division. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, exactly. It's not like, ah, we could get a train here <laughs> <laughs> yeah we definitely no airplanes can fly here we just don't we can't help you if you get sick on the airplane that's the fucking <laughs> difference um so so you getting the vaccine as soon as it comes out or are you gonna let some other people test it out first <laughs> i'm gonna get it in like three or four months after it comes out and let's see what happens <laughs> Did you, do you get the flu shots every year even no never like i don't even think most people won't get the vaccine because they're anti-vaxxers i think it's just because you're like no that sounds like a hard thing to do it sounds kind of difficult <laughs> I don't get my flu shot. I fucking fuck it. You know what I mean? I'm going to go to Applebee's. If they wanted to give them to all of us, just send me one in the fucking mail and I'll stab (laughs) myself in the arm. (laughs) No, everyone knows anything by mail is fraud. This would be a good time for chemtrails to really come with a victory, you know? Just sweep down, blast us all with a big vaccine (laughs) chemtrail. We're like, we forgive you. Everyone's allowed outside Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. Please don't (laughs) be late. And they just blow a fat chemtrail over every city. <laughs> Actually, chemtrails are real and they're good. 
I wish I wish the survival of humanity wasn't being priced out right now. How much will it cost to save humanity? Like the human cost? No, of course not. I mean the financial cost. <laughs> no, no, the important <laughs> no, one. No, I don't care about who fuck human cost. Someone fire this guy. <laughs> Has it looked like we've cared about the human cost? I think we're going to find the cure is just a little exercise and eating healthy. Maybe it's just a little TLC. A little TLC, dude. A little TLC. A little, a little, a little, a little, a little love, love self-care. We'll see you guys next week. Be sure to like to help us with the algorithm. I wanted to say that this time because I saw that in a couple of YouTube videos. I don't know <laughs> if it does anything. So, yeah, like it if you liked it. All right. See you guys next week. Bye. Dumb, dumb.